Uh, this year, or last year, in 2016, I had to build a monitoring system where we were monitoring Internet of Things telemetry, and we also wanted to monitor just the server health at the same time. And I wanted a nice uh, web-based graphical charting system for the monitoring that would be easy for non-technical people to more or less get the hang of. As part of that, I found this tool called Grafana, which was really awesome, and I thought, you only live once, so I'm going to do a live demo at LinuxConf. So, for the purpose of today, uh, the title said 15 minutes. I guess that's a bit of a cheat because, you know, with Docker and virtual machines and other stuff, you get most of the work pre-canned, which helps. Uh, one thing I discovered when preparing this is I had to roll back to 1.8.3 Docker because there's some bug that was causing it to hang that's got about 200 me too's and counting on GitHub at the moment, so that was quite interesting. So what I'm going to zip through today, that diagram actually hasn't come out that well on the big screen, unfortunately. So there's a container. Grafana is a web application written in JavaScript that gives you a nice charting interface. It has a back-end thing called Carbon, which is a, a data store that takes the... It's a data interface that takes the data in from CollectD or StatsD or MQTT or any other source and dumps it into another database, in this case one I'm using called Whisper. I don't know a lot about the inside of all this stuff, to be honest. It all came in a nice container that someone else had put up on GitHub. So um, open source is a great time to be around at the moment. There's so much stuff you can pull from to solve a problem. So there's a container running all the applications. There's a second one for the storage, which means you can pull down and bring up the container with the processes in without actually losing all your log data, which is kind of important. So on to the um, live bit. And you probably don't care about the fact that I did that one. Uh, control, yes, tab, awesome. So, once you've installed Collecti and all the other normal packages that you guys probably already have, it comes already with a Graphite Grafana plugin in it. So what you would have to do is go find that, edit it, and uncomment it. So I'm just going to show you where I did that. Um, of course, this screen is suddenly much bigger than I had before, so see how that works. No. All right, anyway, so you've got to edit that one. <laughs> ah, help. Go, go. Pays to restart CollectD after you edit the thing, so we'll skip that as well. Um, everything's going backwards because I've changed the font size so everyone can see it, and now I've lost my context totally, so that was interesting. And I know why, so I'm going to attempt to do this. Re maximize. Now I can see what I'm doing. Awesome, that's better. So what you would do, and I'm not going to bother, you would clone the um, Grafana container from GitHub that some people have made, which works really well. I've got my own patches on it just to tweak it for the environment for the demo. But if you search for docker-grafana-graphite, you will find that. Notice some people are typing that in. Then all you do is you clone it. You basically run a script that's there which builds the containers, another one that starts it. You'd probably want to tweak these for all your own port settings and all the rest of that. And then off you go. The other program you need is one called MQTT to Graphite. Again, if you Google that, you'll find it on GitHub. That lets you grab something called an MQTT feed, which a lot of Internet of Things uses. That's a pub subscribe model, so I won't go into that in too much detail now, but basically that will take the data and dump it into the carbon database that is used by the Grafana and Whisp Whisper. And once all that is up and running, if I've got all the parts going, we'll just dump some fake data into it. And go to the web page, not that one. And go here and do that. And move that tab over there. So one thing I've just discovered is for some reason the mouse is actually not showing up on the secondary screen, which makes life a bit more interesting. And if I get lucky, it'll tab. That's actually going to cause me some problems, I've just realised. So this is Grafana, which gives you a really awesome um, dashboards for doing charting and stuff. And now I'm going to have a lot of fun 
trying to guess where the mouse is. Not down a bit. And I'm going to go and create a new. <laughs> yeah, a bit to the right. Nope. A bit further. Ah. Oh, damn it. Let's try tab. Okay. Thank God they've actually. It's pretty cool stuff. They've actually gone to the effort of putting all the tab tabbing into it. So down a bit, a bit there. Oh. Okay, what I'm going to do, just because this is going to get really tedious for everybody watching, is move that quickly back over here, set it up and bring it back again. So, space. Oh, come on. All right, so I've got one I prepared earlier. And basically what you can do is you pick your data sources, so the MQTT feeds the data from CollectD, you can set it all up and drop it onto the... Um, uh, move back. Right. Get it there. So what you can't see, because I've got it just off screen, is you click the little green thing, it comes out, and you can say add a panel, add a graph, you can customise all the panels, you can then go and do this. Oh, this is a demo fail. <laughs> Damn it. Move it back. So you've, you've got some feedback for the main conference there, Simon, that the mouse doesn't always show up for everybody. Um, oh. Where's the one I had earlier? Oh, hang on. Oh, far out. Get it back. Come on, come on, running out of time. Why don't I just move? So I've got it half there and I'll move it out. So you can just simply click, you go edit, and then it brings up what you can see down the bottom, which is all the queries for all the data sources. Then you can tweak the, um, the time period. So I've got one here with data from a couple of months stuck into it. So you can see how it's all compressed there over a week. Then you can um, drag over that. like that and expand it back out. <sighs> and you can click on display styles. So it's got a lot of stuff that I was planning to demo really well, but it's not working so well because I can't actually see where I'm clicking. So one drawback with this is you do appear to need a mouse to do most operations, not a keyboard. So you can do stuff. So you can see that that's actually configured from points. You can set it up to do lines. You can set it up to do a bar chart. Where it gets really awesome, and again, I'm going to have trouble clicking on it, but up the top, the little icon with the, uh, next to the star that's there, you can export out. You can configure, say, two panels with four graphs and a number and that. You can save that out to JSON, go to another instance of this on running on another server, and reconfigure the entire dashboard with just one click, which means you can put the dashboard settings in configuration control because it's all just stored in JSON, which makes it really, really useful. Um, what else can I do with it? It's, I just hadn't come across a package with anywhere near these features that was just so easy to use. So I just wanted to like let everybody know because it, I've had it, basically since I've had it, I had it running on my main machine at home, logging my Wi-Fi bandwidth, um, how much disk space I'm using, all this stuff. I never used to bother monitoring at home because it just wasn't worth it. But being able to set this up in 15 minutes, you're just cruising. Uh, I do apologise for the demo fail because of the mouse, but... Um, Hopefully you can at least go away, grab this and use it for yourself, so yeah. Also it means we're probably five minutes caught up now. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, questions? Thank you very much.